Hello friends, welcome back to my video. All right, I'm a hungover teacher again. We're gonna watch a movie. All this week we've been shipping heat death. It's literally all I've done from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. I'm losing my mind, but it's all out of love for you. If you guys could, please go to heatdeath.co, sign up for the mailing list. Bunch of new information on the next sale coming out. I know a ton of you have been hitting me up about restocks and if we're gonna have certain things available. The answer is, I don't know and we will let you know in a couple weeks. Thank you for caring as much as you have. I don't know where all the people that are currently bombarding us about trying to buy from Heat Death are coming from. Thank you if you're telling your friends and family. I love you, but we'll have an update on that the second we're done shipping everyone's stuff. Um, and I'll have new videos, hopefully this coming week. Um, just bear with me while I make sure that everyone gets their clothes that I broke all my hands to make. Um, I love you. You guys had a lot of fun with it last week. If you want, text this number that's on screen right now. I won't tell you what it does, but it does go to my phone and I've, I've seen some funny things happen and I don't know why I gave you a direct line to my phone. So text it if you want. This is a super cut of all my r slash Tinder videos. We did nice guys last week. I thought we were in theme. This is like, again, hungover teacher being like Star Wars episode four. I went out again. Time for Empire. Let's go. Hey girl, are you petrol? Oh boy, am I gonna regret this or not? Let's find out. I'm not. Why? Because I feel like I'm in a long line waiting to pump you. <laughs> mm, yes, I do regret this. I regret reading it. Tinder profile. Hybrid blood. It's rare, I guess. Aries. Queen Lilith. Welcome to hell. Proud by. Not looking for friends. No hookups. No fuck Ooh. boys. No ugly people. Seriously, you think you have a chance? Stop it. Don't swipe, because I won't. If you can't speak English, then don't bother talking to me. If I am too mean for you, then keep walking. I bet they get... So many matches. Is that us at the end there? It can be. You can't use that emoji, that shit Ooh. for females. <laughs> I use that all the time. Knock, knock. What? That's not how the game goes. What's it about? You don't know the knock, knock game? Nah, because I can't get disrespected at 10 p.m. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Belle knows what she wants. I uh, heard of them. They sound cool. They're that Korean band, yeah? Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I matched with you. Looking for an Asian guy because I want Asian babies. Oh, don't like that I read that. Whoa, haha. -ha. Bit early to talk about babies. Crying cat. No, not really. I'm young, but I def see myself being a stay-at-home mom. And I love babies. They're gonna be on my mind and I'm always gonna be planning to have one. Or four. Maybe five. Holy fuck. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Ant Antoinette. Is this Tinder from the 1800s? That's an incredible name, by the way. Also, are you still into mythology and demonology? Because those both sound fascinating. You spelled my name wrong. That was bound to happen. I'm a total klutz. Good save. That's not an apology. And that's no excuse, Richard. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Lol, do you know why I called you Richard? Well, I was hoping that you were joking, and that was just a hilarious way to misspell my name. Now I understand you were calling me a dick. Oh, <laughs> look, I had absolutely no intention of offending you. And if I did, I wholeheartedly apologize. Why are you apologizing? This bitch sucks. I swiped right because I think you're really attractive and I'm interested in getting to know you. And I think if you got to know me, you might find that I have no interest whatsoever in treating people with anything but positivity, respect, and love. Beta move. <laughs> you got my name wrong. And when I gave you the opportunity to rectify it, you took no accountability. What the fuck? I'm sure you're a great guy. At that moment, however, you were dropping the ball. I accept your apology, though. So when are we getting to know each other? Run far away! Can you come cuddle me and explain cool film Ooh. shit whilst we watch then? I'll show you a rock. Ah, uh, that sounds cute. A rock? This is a guy talking to himself in some girl's uh, DMs on Tinder. It's real sad. Hey, Bella, how's your night going? What brings a gorgeous girl like you on here? So any chance you'd be interested in me just pleasing you and that's it? I wouldn't need anything in return at all. Honestly. No bullshit, Ooh. though. I wouldn't even attempt to ask for anything more at all. Just to go down on you and that's it. Promise. Hell, I'd even eat you after. Just got... Oh, fuck. Ooh. After you just got done with another guy. Just saying... Do better, everyone. What makes me want to hang out? I need something interesting. Why are you yelling? And I'm fucking Ooh. hilarious, and you can stare at my tits. What, what more is there to want? Only look. 
Is this a fucking Ooh. zoo? You haven't paid premium subscription yet. <laughs> Is this a fucking zoo? I'm poor. Is there a basic package? Do I look like I give handouts, you hobo? Her name is Iridon... Yeah, Dona. Irid... Liridona? I don't know. I'm confused overall. So when are we getting together? Are you uncircumcised? I am circumcised. Bummer. Have a good afternoon. You too. What? <laughs> Delete little bum that, isn't it? Pardon? Honor's second pick. Delete? <laughs> I am lost. Why? Just saying you got a... Just saying you got a nice bunda? What does delete mean? Delete! Delete! Good morning. Nice to meet you. Morning. Nice to meet you as well. Got a big day lined up? What's the important day in line? Are you doing anything fun is what I meant. I didn't go out today. Goodbye and practice English. <laughs> English pronunciation. Yeah, fuck you. I'll bet you'll like me more than my dog. Big bet. If I'm right, you gotta let me take you out. Deal? I honestly avoid meeting new people, but deal. Nice. I don't have a dog. So where and when? I feel like hitting you. Only one way to make that happen. Punch me in the face. Hey, so I'm actually from the future and we've been married for 15 years. I'm just trying to resolve an argument we're having. Where and when was our first date? Damn, that's smooth. You got the wrong future. <laughs> Honestly, that's funny, but you still don't have a shot. Any constructive criticism? Be better looking. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Yes, sir. You know what? I came to your store today. But as I saw you, I didn't know what to do, so I just left. I was super shy, Lamau. I saw. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be this creepy. We're not in middle school. At least you shouldn't be if you're on Tinder. You were better at talking than I thought. It's a compliment. Thanks, I practice daily. Ha, huh, so I see that you have a cat. This is going great. I sure do. What are your thoughts? I'm thinking, I want to date this guy just to pet the cat. Can you be more boring? Can... It, is this a computer chat bot talking to its, itself? What you... Fuck you. Because I want marriage. You mean like now or eventually? Like now. Why are you in a rush? Because my sister got married at my age and I know I'm ready to be a mom. I'm not ready for all of that. I want to at least graduate and get a job first. Good for you, jackass. Nobody cares. Good luck being a mom. How tall? How about you guess? Six foot. Close. So what is it? Lol, six two. Short the fuck? Ooh. Probably just to me. I like guys six five plus. Ha. Bro, what are you like five two? Lol. Five one lol. Ha ha ha. I hope you guys don't mind all the yelling. It's very echoey in here and I'm having fun throwing my voice. Ooh. Also, if you're watching this during the premiere, can I get a piss in chat? Wow, it feels good to say that. Look at all that piss. If you're watching the premiere right after it, we're going live at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Corn Time. We're doing two truths and a lie. So you call in, you tell me two truths and a lie, and me and chat will try to figure out What's what? You don't want to miss it. It's a great time. I have missed doing these live streams so much. So if you could, please come watch it. Link down in the box with the words. Or if you're watching this premiere right now, just wait till the end. It'll dump you out right there. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Corn Time. Come watch my face. There will probably be a lot of technical difficulties. Okay, back to the awful. So you like reading, I see. What's the last book you read and the best book you read? Fuck off. What? Why? We have reading as common interest and I just wanted to start a convo. Ciao. You fucked up. Hello there. Wow, you are hairy. No denying that, lol. What do you think of me? You're hairy. Is that good or bad to you? Well, I don't want a wolf man. I want a man. If you dislike how I look, then why did you swipe right on me? Because I had to let you know. <laughs> The Tinder profile of Wendy, 18. Just looking for a distraction. Size queen. I'm pregnant and in a hap... In a happy relationship that is open on my side. So I'm only looking for some fun for me and my cuck. Is it your dog? Preferably nine plus, please. I don't know what that means. Oh. Oh. Dick length. If you're vaccinated, don't bother swiping right. That kid has no chance. That nose ring looks so good on you. Thank you. It's mine. Can I have it? I mean the nose, not the ring. Why you want my nose? Because mine is gone. Who took it? 
Who knows? I'm a single father of three and another one on the way. They are my world. If you don't have what it takes to help me raise my kids, then move aside and let a real woman step up. Must have your own car. Preferably a minivan. Must be able to cook, clean, and be submissive. No taller than 5'5". Five five. Must be fit. Have your own source of income and no kids of your own. I bet everyone wants to date Sean. Emmy, 25. I'm a mother first. But if you have a child, swipe left. Just because I have a child does not mean I have to accept yours. Born in Alaska. Raised in Japan. Live in Stupidville. <laughs> I'm a woman that knows what she wants. If you're not that, then I'm quick to leave. That sounds like my dad. Don't get your heart broken. Why is everyone so skinny? I'm a business owner. I also have a podcast. I bet it's true crime. You're garbage. Goodbye. Laura, 26. 47. Okay. Little discrepancy there. Alcoholic, unemployed, activist, bisexual, mom to three kids and five dogs. Vegan, mentally unstable, <laughs> divorced, widow, what? Dead inside, chicken nuggets addict. That is a super like. Oof, like you, but then just realized you've been listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Haha, <laughs> wow, never heard that level of hate for the peppers. Is there a story there? Not an interesting one. Just grew up with, <laughs> with better taste in music. Ha! <laughs> nah, they're dope. Are they? Do you guys like the... Red Hot Chili Peppers? Hi, Brandon. Why are you so hot? Now that went from zero to a hundred really fast. I hope that you're not a bot. How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, that's clever. Sorry, just skipping the awkward icebreaker. Seven, babe, but I'm a bit blind. I'm not a bot. Lamau! It's okay. You're actually not a bot, and you messaged first. Now that's the Tinder experience that I was looking for. Hey, <laughs> hey, of course. Sorry, you're so hot. I peed my pants a bit, thanks. Next! God awful. I'm researching important dates in history. You want to be mine? Ooh, that was good. Who's that cute blonde guy in your pics? Name's Jake. He's very cute. Is he single? So you swiped on me just for my friend, huh? Pretty much. I'm sorry! What was that fucking voice? What's your favorite thing you've 3D printed so far? Thor's hammer looks like it's gonna turn out great. I should print a fleshlight without dry women open to men. Damn. Tiffany, 19. I am your ideal woman. 6'8", 250 pounds of pure muscle. Only eat beef. Will bear a child. Sure to lead nations. Will be roughly the size of a Viking. Cannot read and do not want to learn. I own 19 dirt bikes. That's a bit excessive. And they all have flames on the side. That's not. Inventor of what is commonly known as <laughs> aggravated assault. <laughs> Looking for a very compact man to ride on my shoulders so I look cool. Mommy? Hey, Amelia. How was your weekend, Ben? That is a fucking loaded question. I had to put my horse down last night. <laughs> Nay. Hi, I'll be your attending physician for today. According to my chart here, squints at clipboard, you've been diagnosed with attracted to me. Can you walk me through what symptoms you've been experiencing? <clears throat> yes, hello, just your standard diarrhea and vomiting. A love story. What? I'll rephrase the question. What do you plan on doing with your time off? Shopping? Travel? Right. You're very cute. Shame your conversation is lacking. What? Say what again. Can you solve a Rubik's Cube in less than 12 seconds? No way. Okay, good. Neither can I. Just wanted to make sure I wouldn't be intimidated by you. Haha, -ha, okay, good. Okay, sweet. We're dating now. That's how Tinder works. Or so I'm told. Lol, okay, but I don't think my boyfriend would like that. No, I'm fine with it. That is a seriously contagious smile. Really glad we matched. How's your Friday night? Oh, yikes. Hope you don't catch it. I just might, winky face. Never been so glad to be unvaccinated. Hold on. Can we go back to how you said you're unvaccinated? Ha ha ha. That's a total joke. I'm entirely vaccinated. All right, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ha 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 ha. I am super autistic, though. How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice, winky face. You'd think that, but no, polar bears live on ice. That'd be pretty fucking dumb if they fell through it all the time. The world is dying. So the text attached to this said that Laura was a flight attendant for Delta. Hello, Laura. You look pretty fly. Plain... Icon, not a moat, what the fuck? Hey, sorry if that opening pun was a little plain. No problem. I was just winging it. So where are you from? Haha, <laughs> I see none of these jokes really took off. Hey, if I was naked in front of you right now, what would you do to me? 
ask for consent. Height, there's a height restriction to ride this ride. Surely you must know that you're nowhere near attractive enough to make those demands, right? Dang, I'm 5'6". I like your name, and I'm 17. 18 in December. When are you usually free? I am usually free around December. You know, the more wise somebody has in their hay, the more interested they are in you. With that being said, hey, he. Okay, looks like this person's name is Izzy. Can I get busy with Izzy? Busy. Can I get busy with Yeez? <laughs> You're not good at spelling. Your. What's your major? How about a more unique question? Which vegetable gives you the most anxiety? Kiwis. Bad experience with one as a kid. That's a fucking fruit. Want to know the chances of us hooking up? Zero percent. Ever check the weather and it says zero chance of rain, but it still rains anyway? My point is, Teresa, I'm no meteorologist, but I think Teresa, chance of, uh, it's there, there's a... It's there's a chance of rain. Hey, so I'm a pretty upfront person since I've been through a lot of shitty relationships. Lol. Anyway, do you believe in Jesus? <laughs> are you willing to wait for marriage? Do you have a car and a job? And if we make it this far, are you willing to pick me up and pay on the first date? I'd quit using that as your opener, to be honest. Instead, try, hi, I have red flags, date me. Lol. Surprised you didn't add like horse girl in there. I love your smile. Thanks. Took me a long time to collect all these teeth. Creepy. Lol. Oh shit. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't mean that to be creepy. I just meant it took a long time to find a bunch of homeless people with matching teeth. Uh, the text attached to this one said, The guy that Caroline has matched with had aspirations of becoming a DILF. Am I right, gentlemen? I'm not sure what to say, other than that I'm intrigued by your aspiration to become a DILF. Tell me a joke, your best one. Wanna hear a joke about paper? It's probably gonna be terrible. You're just too good. I'm witty and relatable. Quote of the day. What did the zero say to the eight? I'm not sure what to say, other than that I'm intrigued by your aspiration to become a DILF. Dunked on. What's your favorite historical period? I need to plan my obnoxious pickup line accordingly. The Industrial Revolution. Impress me. Hey baby, are you a factory before labor standards? Because I want to put a bunch of kids in you. Please roast me. Girl, you look roasted enough. Jesus, God. Would you like A, an inappropriate pickup line, B, corny name pun, C, normal conversation? I'm interested in B. Really? B, too easy to tailor to. Yeah, I want to see what you got. Let's see. Or all of the above. And that dog that doesn't get jokes never found a match. Text attached to this one says that the girl was a sales associate and that she sold things. Aren't we all sales assistants in the grand scheme of life trying to sell our ourselves as good people to everyone we meet? Wow, that's deeper than I expected. There's twice in your life you'll say that with me. Smooth. Is that Mitt Romney? Hey, caramel woman. Hey, mayonnaise man. You from here? Yeah. Nice. Know any good spots for a date? Museums. Is there one you prefer? Art. I bet I can guess your favorite style of art. Go for it. Minimalism. Nice bio. What kind of stuff? There's no text attached to this, so I'm hoping, I don't know what I don't know what stuff. Dates. Would you be willing to drive out my way? Not for the first date. Halfway? If a dude doesn't want to come to me for the first date, he'll never come for a relationship. If a woman won't meet me halfway for the first date, she'll never meet me halfway in a relationship. Both of these people sound awful. Hey, this is my cat. I just had yo show someone. He's fucking awesome. He's so cute. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many times he's gotten me dates on here. Go ahead and guess. Zero. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'm gonna have to put him down. Wait, what? Wanna Venmo me $5? Thanks for reminding me how miserable Tinder is. Wow, you're so unique and so much better than everyone else. Wow, a record collection? Surely no one else has one. You're so different and special. You're totally not like other guys. Bitch, you're begging for money on an app. I am so glad I don't have to use this shit. If you like huge dicks, you'll love my personality. What happens if I like small dicks? Then you'll like my actual dick. 411, huh? Try again. Not the icebreaker you want to go with. Do better. Keep being a little bitch. I'm gonna come over and hide all your stuff on top of the refrigerator. Me. Only swipes attractive people. Attractive people. Only swipes attractive people. Me. Fuck. So how often do people wordplay with your name? A lot. Lamau, I knew it. What's like the top three? I want to try to beat it. Oh God, let me look. Hang on. I think I need a little faith in my life. I didn't believe in faith till now. Will you be my faith? I don't have any. Mike Tyson voice. Will you let me rub my balls across your faith? That's just wholesome, really. The text attached to this one says that this was their first match on Tinder. Snack. Tell me more. I'd bend you over, choke you, pull your hair, spank that fat ass, and pound your pussy. <laughs> Tell me less. Hey, we should sext. I'll start. Takes off Crocs. Why would you take them off? Slowly puts Crocs back on. That's right, daddy. I don't like either of these people as well. That's weird. You really look like Updog in that second picture. Huh? Updog. You got that Updog look on your face. What the fuck? You got that I get no pussy and let my dog lick peanut butter off my balls look on your face, bitch.
Not much. How about you? Question. What if I peaked in preschool? If you can explain to me how one peaks in preschool, then I will be impressed. For my birthday, I gave everyone goodie bags full of candies and everybody liked me. After that, it was a downhill spiral. Relatable. So what's your story? In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Well damn, that is a story. Glad you're safe. I'm from Texas. My three favorite things are dick jokes and not using commas. How tall? How tall are you? How much do you weigh? Happy Sunday. So what has made you smile this weekend? Besides matching with me, winky face, bold. I'd say mine is volunteering for the Tim Tebow prom for mental disabilities. I'm headed to Bloomington today and if my Hoosiers could win, fellow Hoosier, great. I'm sure that would complete my weekend. Very pretty girl, by the way. Oh, that's super cool. But how's your arm? What do you mean? Oh, I thought you broke it patting yourself on the back. There is no one that lives in Indiana that likes themselves this much. Is that dude your brother? Brother by blood, but boyfriend by love. What? the f Your boyfriend is your brother. Well, my brother is my boyfriend, but I guess it's the same thing, so yeah. Why are you on Tinder? I have to find a fake boyfriend because my mom is getting suspicious. This person's from Indiana. Show me how those tits fart. Hi, I know it's been two years, but this message keeps me up at night. What does it mean? I'm six foot and four inches. Those are two measurements. Uh, I'm leaving now. See you soon. See you soon. Um, yeah. I just saw you from afar and I'm sorry I can't meet you. I don't like guys who are too fat. I'm not attracted to them. I'm so sorry. It's better for me to back home than to pretend I liked you. Good luck with your upcoming dates on Tinder. Wow. You could see that? That from my photos? I'm literally shirtless in one of them. But I thought you were less fat. Me too. Exactly. Taking me out to Marcel's. Damn, you trying to go fancy as hell for a first date. If you're bro just say dead. Nah, I do fine. I'm in med school. Just don't go that big on first dates. Not my style. I'm sure you'll find some guy desperate enough to spend hundreds on you for a first date. Not sure, guy. Not sure. I'm a Tinder veteran. Sadly, I have been on many a nice first dates. <laughs> and lol, at guys who think nice dates equal desperate, very much usually the opposite. Well, clearly, since you are a Tinder veteran, you must be doing something right on these nice dates to make the guy stay. Ah, oh, fuck. What do I have to break in order to to get you as a med tech, you would need to get dementia. So what do I have to break in order to get you as a med tech? <laughs> what? Apparently this girl's bio says she's from the only K state. So he said, Kansas? Kansas dick fit in your mouth? Ah, oh, fuck me. I walked right into that one. Saw you put an anthem in your bio. You like tapes and CDs? No, lol. I'm not 60. Well, that's unfortunate because I'm a tape this dick to your foreheads. You can see these nuts. Oh my God. Marry me. I'm speechless. Start an argument like we're a married couple. Why do I have to start the argument? See, this is what's wrong with you. You need me for every little thing and have no independence whatsoever. My credit cards, my house, my cars. What do you provide for this family? Nothing except not being in the mood for sex and half-assed blowjobs. Grow up, Wendy. We're 30 now. I love you. I love you. It's weird. Last time I was at McDonald's, I didn't see you listed as the three-piece combo. Weird way to type a fucking emoji. Pretty eyes, nice lips, and a cute nose. Write a song for me. Oh, yeah. He sounds like a poet, dude. Go on a few dates with me, and I will. I hate that you type smileys this way. Or simply break my heart as soon as you can. Oh. Yawn. Hmm? The fuck? Boring. That's interesting, considering thus far you have contributed not a single thing to this conversation. Both of you are awful. Both of you. Jason, 28, 6'3". That's my entire personality. I'm just 6'3". Am I into sports? 6'3". What's my favorite movie? 6'3". Three. Do I prefer staying or going out? 6'3". Favorite Bette Midler movie? First Wives Club and 6'3". <laughs> Am I looking for love or a hookup? Who knows? But what we do know is 6'3". 6'3". Hi. I don't know how I fucking read that. I'm in Jamaica for a week. What do I absolutely need to do before I leave? Something you're interested in, I guess. Lol. What am I to say? Lol. I don't know. I figured you'd have some ideas because you live here. Or you could just say you'll show me around. I'm not a tour guide, honey. I work. Lol. What do you do for work? I'm a travel agent. Fuck! Since you shared your Batman story, I once had dreams of being a Powerpuff girl. So you were made from sugar, spice, and everything nice? No. And if that line ever works for you, you should question why. It's the 
intro to Powerpuff Girls. It's not a pickup line. Lol. Chemical X. Oh man, this chick's name is Tat Tatty Lynn. Jesus Christ. Damn, if you were my teacher, I'd be tattling on all the other students just to talk to you. Are you fucking stupid? It's Tatlin. Fucking idiot. I think the only idiots here are your parents, Tataline. Do so you like reading? I see. What's the last book you read and the best book you read? Fuck off. What? Why? We have reading as common interests. I just wanted to start a convo. Ciao. Thanks for your feedback. Good morning, Kim. Morning. Have you had breakfast? Not yet. Just woke up, you. I'm making breakfast. <laughs> what you making? I go to work after breakfast. Sounds like a delicious breakfast. Yes, I wish to share a delicious breakfast with you. I asked what you were making. Silly. I am eating breakfast. Eggs. Forgive my ignorance, but what's an ODP? Google it. I tried to start a conversation by giving you the opportunity to talk about something you're presumably interested in. Obviously, I can fucking Google it. How many dates until you take me home to meet your dog? My dog died three hours ago and I got evicted a week ago. Fuck. That's dope if you don't mind me asking how tall are you. 6'3". You? Damn, 5'11". Wear some heels, daddy. Okay, horse gladly. <laughs> what? Bet. Now talk dirty to me, hobbit. Yo, relax. <laughs> okay, horse gladly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like your bald head. Easily the best message I've ever got. And I kind of like that you have hair, so this head is all yours. <laughs> I feel like I need to sit on it like a hen that keeps its eggs warm. I bet a lot of people are into that. Hey, if you're watching this during the premiere, can I get a piss in chat, please? Dad? We're going live right after this. Don't miss it. Uh, just wait till the end of this. If you're watching the premiere, spit you out to my face. Or if it's still the day that this video came out, go down in the box with the words. There's a link you can come watch it. Something cool that happened this last week. Uh, I became a, a minister for the Universal Life Church, and I married a couple people that are part of Piss Cult and Dad Fam, Jason and Heather. They lived in Indiana, actually pretty close to me, uh, and I performed the marriage ceremony. So here you go. Uh, this is me marrying them, and I became a minister like 12 hours before. So please don't comment on how short I am. Thank you. We're going to uh, marry some people today. I got my official minister license through the Universal Life Church and we're going to marry Jason and Heather who met on my stream fell in love and are now getting married by me wasn't that cute okay um, congrats again, Jason and Heather. Please, everyone down in the comments, congratulate the new happy couple. I'm sure their marriage is not cursed since I officiated it. Back to the awful. How tall? How about you guess? Six foot. Close. So what is it? Lol, six two. Short. The fuck? Probably just a me. I like guys six five plus. Bro, what are you, like five two? Lol. Five one. Fucking lol. What do you do for work? I am a business owner. Very cool. You like doing it? Can you stop asking such stupid questions <laughs> who doesn't like making money i didn't ask if you liked making money i asked if you liked what you do everyone likes making money some people fucking hate their jobs i'm a business owner i am not a migrant worker okay so you love your job got it oh donna you fucking suck <laughs> Are you a toaster? Because I want to take a bath with you. Haha, <laughs> nice one. It would be pretty electrifying. Sparks would be flying for sure. You could say there's a spark between us. Yeah, I definitely sense a connection. I have a socket you could plug into. Ah. Uh, Good job, Eliza. Are you a toaster? Because I'd like to take a bath with you. That's how my dad died. <laughs> Holy you want to take me out the same way? What the fuck is wrong with you? Generic greeting. Typical response. Suggestive remark. Defensive rebuttals. Quick and desperate backpedal. Diversion. Half-hearted compliment. Cognitive dissonance. I was efficient. This is a, a viewer sent this in. Someone just commented on her profile picture on Tinder and said, You look like a witch that is about to offer me a side quest. <laughs> hello hey hello howdy hello hola stop saying hi to and unmatch me because you clearly goddamn lazy and incapable of leading a conversation you lazy bitch fuck hello hello what do you mean otherwise i mean money would just be for my time but i'm completely open to a physical relationship how much 300 per meet kind of sounds like paying for an escort slash hooker lol lol i don't know sugar babies have been a super popular thing lately eating tide pods was popular for a while too got him it's a good thing I've got my library card because I'm definitely checking you out. Get the f 
fuck out of my DMs. Take your shitty pickup line and get the fuck out. Jesus Christ. So context on this one, I guess these two met on Tinder and were going to meet up in person and the guy got to the spot first and there was an older gentleman wearing the same outfit as him and she was a little concerned, rightly so. So this is what happened. I'm literally sitting right by the door wearing red plaid shirt. Can't miss me. Is the front door facing parking or the main road? Parking lot. That's their patio towards the main road. Lol. Are you here? I really hope you didn't see the much older man sitting by the door outside also wearing red and think I'm a catfish. Lamau. I'm sitting by the door inside. Oh my god. That's definitely what happened, isn't it? Lamau. 100%. I'm turning around. A happy ending. Hi. Three eyes. This is getting serious. Huh? Ah, uh, please don't make me explain my joke. Please explain because I don't understand. I think let's just start again. This time I won't try to be funny. Which part of LA are you from? Haha, <laughs> sure. California. Oh my god. Oh my god. Has anyone told you that you're beautiful today? No. Well, there's always tomorrow. Trimis. <laughs> If you're 5'8 without shoes, that means you're 420. With shoes, you'd be 69, which is pretty cool. Are you an engineer? Smart guy. Smart guys. So I'm writing a book right now. About? Well, it's a phone book, and it's missing your number. One of those is mine. One is my dad's. Good luck. You just send a <laughs> pic to both. <laughs> You have no bio, so tell me something interesting about yourself. I like the color pink. Hmm. How does the color pink make you feel? Like a f***ing unicorn. Oh, so you could say it makes you horny? Nope. Damn, tough crowd. No, the crowd isn't tough. You just made a f***ing bad joke. It's just a bad joke. It's just a bad joke. So are we wearing coordinated Halloween costumes or what? My bad, I didn't know you were already going as a ghost. I fucking hate this. Fucking hate this. I have a car, a house, and a career. I'm only 5'9", though. Women 25 and up. Women with careers, hard eyes. Women under 25 with no career. Oh, nah, that ain't gonna work. I like my men at least 6'3". Heightism aside, which sucks, I'm so short. Why am I so short? You know those Twitter posts that are like 18-year-old kids that are a couple, and they're like, we're 18 and we just bought our first house. How did you do that? What did you do to do that? I'm 25. And when I make rent, I'm like, you did it again, bud. One more month, you're not homeless. How did you buy a house and you're a baby? Hello, masturbation is necrophilia if you're dead inside. It's like a new age hot topic shirt, like a Spencer shirt. If your Tinder profile is a prospective Spencer's shirt, <laughs> fuck you. Small tits are like my thing. Small dicks are like my thing. We are the perfect match. This hurts to read. You know when standards are too low and they're not even yours? I'm vegan too. No way. Yeah, that's why I swiped right. Haha, <laughs> that's amazing. How long have you been vegan for? Start of this conversation. Totally fair. I'd fuck you. Oh, good. Up in Mario Kart. Oh, thank God. But no, I'm the champ. After we have sex. Oh, there it is. Wool harassment training on how to speak to people on Tinder. Oh my God. It just hurts to know that these people are trying and they might meet and make babies. What do you think is the greatest invention of all time? The telescope. I love looking at the sky. Well, that was the smoothest thing I've ever seen. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That is... Real good. May 19, 92 miles away. This account is run by May's current boyfriend. I want to find her a replacement before I break up with her. Oh, that's so fucked. I love it. What is that picture? She's just in a, like a floodplain? What's going on, May? Hey, want to know a difference between you and my car? Sure. I don't want to smash my car up against a wall. Yikes. <laughs> Have you ever really <laughs> He tries again. <laughs> After a crying emoji and saying, ah, <laughs> have you ever realized how there's a D in fridge, but not in refrigerator? Have you stolen these jokes from Joe? Joe who? I made up the first one myself and I found the second years ago. Joe mama. Existence is pain. Hey, are you today's date? Cause you're 1010. That's cute. And thanks. Too cheesy? Are you a shoe? Cause I think we'd make a nice pair. That's cheesy. There's something about uh, Android emojis. 
that just makes me think that the people using them are like 12 years old and so stupid. Okay, then I won't go with my vacuum cleaner joke because that one sucks. No, I want to hear it, please. It seems like these are just two people that are just brick walls talking to each other. Like if, if walls were on Tinder and could talk, it would be these people. You guys wanted this. You wanted as part two to this. I was depressed before and now I'm extra depressed. How old are you? Guess. That's not good. 18? No, ha 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 ha. D be nice. <laughs> How old? 16. Ha ha. Hmm. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy like sitting there being like, hmm, how much jail time? <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill. Bruce Wayne, me, Bill Gates. I don't know, lol. <laughs> Humor me. <laughs> if you ever have to say humor me when you're setting up a joke, don't make the joke. I don't know, lol. <laughs> you're supposed to end up saying kill you. And I say, well, if you're going to take me out, at least let me take you out first. But now I just wish you'd kill me anyway. I do too. I really wish that she would do that to you for writing that and then making me read it. What's your income? How big is your dick? <laughs> Wish they wouldn't use Ratatouille like that. Also, how was Japan? I lived there for the past three years, so pretty good. I moved to a place about an hour south of Hiroshima when I was a sophomore in high school. That's dope AF. I'm born raised here, so I never actually lived there. I never knew another bombshell la <laughs> landed in Hiroshima. Bruh. Yeah, damn. Where are you from? My mother's <gasps> vagina. Oh, for real? I was just there. <laughs> shouldn't say that. A. B. Unmatched. Damn, I guess I should see my way out. You should see your way off of Tinder and off a cliff. You now have to do the pickup line. Pretty original. Uno reverse card. Did it hurt when you fell out of the vending machine? Cause you're a snack. I kinda wish a vending machine would fall on you. Roses are red. Weed is greener. I think about you when I touch my wiener. I like this one. Yeah, Shakespeare. I'm pretty good at teaching Russian. So, anytime. So long as you're better than my friend will be all set. Do you know many Russians? Duh. But I don't think that told me the right translation for can I get your number? Masno vizyat tvoi noma telefonia. It's a rather difficult one. Oh weird, they told me this. Ah ha ha ha. You must be kidding. What you said means I have a tiny <gasps> dick. 98 model. Small dual front airbags. Spotless interior. Suitable rear cargo. High mileage but still works perfectly. No major accidents. Fantastic handling and performance performance. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few statements from previous drivers. I get it. She's saying she's a car. I don't know if I'd put high mileage in this kind of scenario. Great cost to performance ratio. Five out of five. Spilled ranch on the airbags and they auto clean themselves. That's loud when revved up. Can fit large fuel nozzles. Smaller and better in every way compared to the much older original version. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, want to see me do a cartwheel? Oops, lost my... <laughs> Lost my hat. You are so white. Yes, they are. Anastasia, 38. If you're over 35, it's time to forget about young girls and find a woman who can recognize signs of a stroke. I think my biggest fear in life is being 40 and on Tinder. Happy one year anniversary since matching, Jillian. Well, how did you, how did I what? Remember. If I'm being real, I went back through old matches to see who I matched with this time of year. But for the fiction of it, we can say I'm very considerate and want to celebrate. Mason, I think you might be lonely. Oh no, I know I'm lonely. You think he sent that and just cried himself to sleep? Hey. Hey, so I'm interested in a sugar baby relationship. Is that something you're looking for? I can't give you money, but I have some Spider-Man fruit snacks you can have. That would be me. I'm hoping you blow more than just my mind. I swiped because you live on my floor, lol. Wait, really? Wouldn't that be great to just like have to see someone that you sent like a horny Tinder message to and be like, I know, I'm creepy. Uh, have a good class. Hey chick, looking good, XX. Why do you put the XX? What does that mean? Why do old people and British people people put xx after a text yeah you too cutie xxx how are you sorry i can't fail to point out that you're 69 miles away don't move an inch because the only time that number gets better is when it's zero wow i'd be like what do you do you not want me to come over so i don't ruin your fucking <gasps> meme what are you saying that mustache is way too sexy that's the first time that's ever been said lol people either love it or hate it they hate it there's no in between you're right it's they just hate it unless it's between some legs. You are awful. I think mustaches are so damn cute. You have no taste. That's big Ooh. energy. No, it isn't. Oh boy, do I have you fooled. He's telling the truth. Ron, 28. 
<laughs> I noticed you wear three watches. I had a belt made of watches, but it was just a waste of time. I guess you're still laughing. No one's laughing. No one liked your joke. Um, cereal. You must be a bowl of Cheerios because you're making my heart feel better already. Ah, so it was terrible. Yeah, that was actually cute. I don't know why I didn't reply. Was it because you didn't want to make awkward small talk after? Because you can do big talk if that's your thing. Why do you have the cutest things to say? Because cute people bring out the cute things in me. I want to die. Not gonna lie, you're like my top Tinder guy now. You're so smooth. He's probably your only one. I'd like to suggest limbo for a date. That way I can lower the bar and continue to exceed expectations. You're already playing. How about a baseball game? You're making a lot of home runs with your puns and you're a real catch. Also yet haven't had a strikeout yet in my opinion. Oh, oh my God. These are the worst people in the world. These are Facebook people on Tinder. These are Facebook people that share not funny things to their wall and put the crying laughing emoji. I'm so glad we matched. Your photos are so funny. I'm so glad we matched. Your photos are so cute. Thanks. Unfortunately, I can't teach you how to play Dungeons and Dragons, but we can figure it out together. That would be fun. We could learn to, sco to scuba dive too. That's kind of a jump. Are you a bank loan? Because you have my interest. Hey there, are you the bottom of my laptop because you're hot and I'm getting nervous? I would have said like, are you the bottom of my laptop because you're making my balls hurt and my sperm counts low? <laughs> Choose a topic. I'll do the pickup line. Hmm. First thing that comes to mind is puppies. So shoot. May I sniff your ass? It's pretty good. I'm not mad about that. At my place, of course, I am a straight person. Good. <laughs> so we could drink a little, smoke some too, and have intellectual conversation and then you decide what to do with me what about we go to a bar first and have something there my house has everything bar club restaurant bedroom wa water <laughs> and many other stuff i don't doubt that but i don't know you and i'm not risking being assassinated on a random saturday fair point what if i told you that putin is occupying my country but you could be occupying my bed 2022 is wild Kyle, 26. Why you should go on a date with me. A persuasive PowerPoint by me. Ah. I play jujitsu. I have hobbies other than getting drunk with my friends. Lots of potential traveling for tournaments. Essentially a professional cuddler. He's got the mustache on. <laughs> I ha- Oh, it's real. <laughs> I have a cool mustache. Due to a bet I lost, I have to grow it for a wedding. The bride is aware and has encouraged it. Comes with a sweet cowboy hat. Additional info. I have not, nor will I ever, send an unsolicited <laughs> dick pic. Above average cook. I was chubby when I was younger, so now I'm funny. Yeah. Here's a visual aid. Oh, this is looking good. Raving reviews. Is this for one of those stupid apps? My mom. Think golden retriever energy with husky attitude. Friends, girlfriend. Can a scientist please explain this to me? I'd let Michelle cheat on me with him. Barack Obama. I don't know what that impression was. I'm sorry. Hey, Lo. Just came across your profile and wanted to say hi. So, hi. May I ask what Lo is short for? Hi there. And no, you may not. Is that pertinent at all? Yep. <laughs> One, was an opener for a friendly conversation. Two, help determine immediately if you were worth my time. You're not worth my time. Feel free to unmatch after you read this. Oh my god. So this is about the male height difference. Endless debate. Let's do it again. Hmm, that's a tough one for me. I know it sounds superficial, but for me it's a self-comfort and feeling of safety and protection having a man taller than me. So you're five seven. Okay, no worries then. I'm sorry. Not gonna lie. I'm disappointed. I was getting intrigued by you. You seem like a grounded man so far. <laughs> Your disappointment cuz I'm shorter than you want me to be. I'm not trying to be an <laughs> asshole, but you're probably single for a reason. We'd all love to hear your opinion in the comments, so just go do that.
<sighs> Five, nine. No kids. What's with the heartbroken emoji? Usually not into shorter guys, but at this point, is it really a deal breaker? Oh, well, I can't control my height. I also can't control what people are attracted to. Truth on both. Well, if it's a deal breaker for you, then I wouldn't want for you to settle. Again, I can't control my height, and it is what it is. Can we see if we just click? Lol. Sort of seem on same page of things as I am. No, thanks. If you're not into shorter guts now, then you won't be later. I don't want to waste your time. Ouch. Okay. All of that made me sad. I mean, sure, sex is always better, but sometimes you just need a release. Lol. But okay, I respect it. Discipline. Releasing semen weakens you. <laughs> Even fighters know not to have sex three months before a fight, or you will have no legs or stamina. It takes your sperm 72 days to mature. 72! Meaning no man should be busting off daily, which most do, i.e. why most men are weak. Oh, okay. I deadass don't even know what to say to that, but I understand it now. When I walk in a room of men, I hold rank because my sexual chi level is <laughs> yeah. men know we can sense each other's power what? That's so cool that he got to text Andrew Tate. Uh, so th apparently this girl is having a rough time. We can all relate. And she was talking to her match Adam and said, Hey Jake, I'm so sorry for never responding. I have been struggling. What's new? Jake. Oh God. That's very embarrassing for me. I am so sorry. When I tell you I've been struggling, I absolutely mean it. Lamau. Rest in peace. Tegan, are you a microwave because mm, for fuck's sakes that's the best pickup line i've ever heard hey how are you hola english espanol english espanol sex See, this guy matched with this girl that i guess has kids i don't know why he's taking her to this place I don't know anything. How does noon at Hole in One Family Fun this Saturday sound? Like a good time. Fox's Pizza Den is like two minutes from there. Oh, thank God. I have four kids. They will be with me. Text me. As much as I respect single moms, four kids is a bit much for me. I don't think we're a good match, unfortunately. But I wish you all the best in finding what you're looking for. It's funnier if you read it. <laughs> From the perspective that she doesn't know she has four kids and she's asking. I have four kids. Hi, Crystal. This is Alan. Full disclosure, though, I have an Android, so this might be a green text. Ew, you know what? Blocked. Unfriended. Rejected. Thank you, sir. Grow up and get a real phone like an adult. She wasn't kidding. She, she blocked him. <laughs> what do you like to do on dates? As in? Like, what activities do you like to do for dates? Coffee, museums, walk in the park, movie, etc. None of these. Lol, so then what? Real dates. What do you consider a real date? If I have to tell, it isn't worth it. Probably not. <laughs> uh, so apparently this lady is a self-described car girl and says that she drives a manual in her bio. And she gets this message all the time. Ever do anything weird with your shifter? Like what? Sit on it. Why would I do that? For fun. Why would that be fun? <laughs> Good morning, handsome. That is a gorgeous dog you've got there. Thank you. One is my sister's, the Rottweiler is mine. I have to say this, you have some deceptively big boobs. Deceptively? <laughs> Layla, 24. Jesus Christ. Whoa. About me. I'm five foot. I'm looking for a relationship. My Insta is two giant sandbags 440. I like simps and men who always say yes to me. Men who chase me and can take care of me and spoil me or my type. I don't like the whole alpha male act. I like soft, kind people who have manners and treat other people nicely. I expect flowers on first dates. I'm high maintenance. Uh, you swiping left or right? Hey there, how is it going? Hey, to be honest, not really good. Why not? Are you okay? My mom just got in a car accident. She's at the hospital. And I don't have my car. And the Uber's 45 and I don't have enough. So you're free? <laughs> I'm just gonna believe you. Because you seem trustworthy. I love gingers. They're like the black people of... <laughs> oh, I... 
Love this job. Your education level? Sophomore in college. Lol. That better be a joke. You're a joke. You're a sophomore dropout and I'm a data scientist. Any high schooler can make out the difference. I just started college because I was in the military for six years. You're a loser, Lamau. Good luck. Both of you are awful. My name is Chad and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't mind pounding you from behind sometime this week. Thanks, Chad. Nice to meet you too. You schizophrenic or something. I said I wanted to pound you. Not nice to meet you. Yes, you're correct. I'm schizophrenic. Who are you? Honestly, not surprised at all. I'll still pound you once then. Ghost you after. So just text me. Wow, you really drive a hard bargain. Not like you offer anything of substance besides that wet Oh my god. I can tell you're extremely intelligent. Good thing nobody ever gave a shit about what women thought like ever. This is... Oh, man. He just keeps going. This is fucked up. Have you ever heard of Andrew Tate? I bet you'd really love his content. I thought Chad was... The one. Mackenzie, 25. About me. Must want lots of children. Looking for a life partner here. That means no, Gubs. I am very caring. I would love to have a big family. And to continue to be a stay-at-home mom until my last child is in school. And then I would like to go to school to get a career. Most likely in the health field. I do suffer badly from my mental health. So I am not great at keeping a clean house. My biggest flaw. Also, do not enjoy cooking or sexually touching people. How are you going to have kids? You removed me from Hinge. Is that good or bad? I was going to get in touch after Labor Day. I'm really sorry, but I felt like we didn't have the right connection. I wish you all the best. I don't think it's fair to have a change of heart so soon. You've been on my mind more than any other person this week. Even before I got your number, I reflected and we are just in different places in our lives. Hmm. Okay, I guess. I noticed we did have some different goals, even though you said, I have some time. <clears throat> Do you think maybe I could get a topless photo or something? So I don't feel like I left this empty handed. Are you fucking kidding me? You're disgusting. Peace out. Thanks, I know. Hey, it's Sherry from Bumble. Oh, thank God. It's not a green bubble. What's wrong with the green text? It just isn't the same. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's gross. It's Joe. Ooh, blue messages. Is that a rarity in Utah? I don't know. I just hate green ones so much. Me too. Hey, did you still want to do dinner tomorrow? Yes, of course. I get off at 6 and can pick you up around 6.30. One, what took you so long to respond? Two, why do you type with caps? It's weird. I just... <laughs> Alona. I don't know how to say it. 24. I sexually identify as a mistake. Yeah. So I'm actually from the future, and we've been married for 20 years, and I'm trying to settle an argument between us about when our first date was. I think it was at your place, and we drank lots of wine, then I sucked your soul out of your cock. <laughs> Hello, manual reviewer on YouTube. I know. Demonetized. I have so many pickup lines, but I don't know which one to use. Please tell me you're an office fan. Also, you're adorable. I am. Aw, thanks. I can hit that pussy harder than Michael hit you with his car. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Last night I had the strangest dream. Go on. I sailed away to China in a little rowboat to find you. And you said you had to get your laundry cleaned. Didn't want no one to hold you. What does that mean? And you said, ain't nothing gonna break up my stride. <laughs> Nobody gonna slow me down. Oh no. I got to keep moving on. Yeah, I know I didn't read it right. <laughs> Fuck off. Exactly. So please do just that. Thanks. Lol. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What's it like being a truck? What do you mean? I'm not a truck, lol. I see you don't have a lifeguard here at your beach. I'm not at the beach. This is a bathtub. Profile pictures don't lie. Lol, I have other pics than my truck. Lol, but I do love my truck. That's what a truck would say. Valentine's Day date idea. Go bar hopping and fake proposal at each place so people buy you drinks and get drunk for free. That would be dope, but I'm 19. Damn it. Okay, I can wait. I'm a man of my word. So does this mean we're married now? Only if I get to keep the dog and pinball machine in the divorce. Well, dang, if you're already planning for a divorce, I don't know, man. All right, since you want to have an attitude, I get to keep the squirrel-proof bird feeder as well. How dare you go for the bird feeder? I was trying to keep things civil, but if you want to raise your voice too, fine. I'm taking all the spoons 
too. Enjoy the inconvenience of not being able to eat your cereal in a normal way. I don't eat cereal because I'm not a child. And this is why we're getting a divorce. Imagine this. You log on to Tinder, see a decent guy, maybe a 7 out of 10. You're unsure about which way to swipe, but you read his bio. You like it. It's captivating. Mm. Fuck it. You swipe right. Boom. You match. You start talking. Conversations are engaging. He listens. He cares. He's genuine. You bring him home for the holidays. Your family loves him. A couple years pass. You get married. You found love in a hopeless place. Cool story? It's not gonna happen, but I can fuck you in the ass. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? Bless you. Sorry, my allergies have been killing me lately. You should take some vitamin me. I hate this. I hate this. I don't like it, but... <laughs> Anything for views. 19, 5'3", 420 friendly, studying for a bachelor's degree. I love Playboy Cardi. Nice body, big ass. Mom to a beautiful one-year-old. <laughs> oh. Hey, girl, what's your credit score? Zero. <laughs> I right, you fucking loser. I was going to do a whole bit where it looked like I was an identity thief, but it looks like you don't have an identity worth stealing. <laughs> My mom said she'll drop us off if your folks pick us up. I asked my mom and she said it's okay. Okay, cool. So do you want to go see Frozen 2 and maybe hold hands for a bit until it gets awkward? Oh my god. That was a memory I forgot I had. My first kiss was during the movie I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. When she doesn't reply back on Tinder, but you've already pictured both of you getting married, having kids, getting divorced and dying. That's what a psychopath does. Can you imagine how packed trails would be if everyone on Tinder who said they liked hiking actually did it? Your bio. Ha ha ha. Glad you like. How's your night been? Could be better. Just matched with a cute dude, so there's something. What's his name? David. Ha! If you're below an 8 out of 10, move on. I have better things to do. Like polish his head. Holy shit. I'm writing a book called Girls I'm Gonna Disappoint the Shit Out of in 2020. Wanna be a chapter? You already have, lol. I had someone already use that exact line on me. Sick. This book is so easy to write. Hey, what's up? Yo, would you be interested in buying my Dropbox? What's a Dropbox? Wait, how do I know this is a real person and not a bot? Say, I like fish sticks, so I know you're real. I like fish sticks. Wait, are you a gay fish? Boom, roasted nerd. I appreciate the reference, but... <sighs> Describe your ideal date using only emojis. How about you? Why the medal? Because I always finish second. God damn, dude. I'm so glad I'm not on Tinder. <laughs> Why are there so many dads on Tinder? I don't want to be a stepmom. I'm trying to swallow someone's kids, not parent them. Respect. Hey, my pussy is wet right now. Lol. Word. Why? You. All I said was, hey. Hey, Elena. I liked what you wrote, yet it seems it's about you. Yes, it is. You have the crazy in you. Will you be my Valentine? Yes, but no. I will propose everywhere we go so that we will get free drinks. I will be your Valentine. It's kind of sad that people just want to, like, scam people using love. Appreciate the hustle. You look like a Chinese. Are you an overseas Chinese? No, I was born here. You look Asian. You are very beautiful. Are you a hybrid? Thanks. I'm a 2020 Toyota Prius. <laughs> hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm 43 kilometers away. But tonight, you look so pretty. Art. Beautiful eyes. Thank you. Great color, too. She a rescue? Wait, are you talking about my dog? Yeah, she's cute. Hey, Chloe. This is an automated message to remind you of your upcoming Netflix and chill appointment tonight. To confirm your appointment, text yes, daddy. To unsubscribe, please text nah, I'm good. Standard text and billing rates apply. Thanks for choosing slide in your DMs. I think I love you. That's a bad decision. Things I wish my dad would say. Ha ha. Again, I can't fucking read. Good joke. I'm proud of you, son. Also good. Now I'm worried who's going to be calling who daddy tonight. This is... That sucks. <laughs> like, these people get laid. I've got to know how many pickup lines you get with the name Destiny. Yeah, I've heard a few. Lol. Let's see what you got. I hope you're okay with an average guy because my D is tiny. <laughs> I waited 19 hours to use my super like on you. Don't tell her that. Oh my God, are you joking? So it took you 19 hours and one second to steal my heart. Oh my god, I just wanna- So after lots of thinking, hard work, determination, I've concluded that it's hard as fuck to make a pun with your name. Nice to meet you, though. Do you have trouble breathing without me around? It's gonna be hard when there's no air in there. I don't deserve to speak to you. Human things. Damn, I must really look like trash if I match with a raccoon. You swiped on me, pal. I didn't ask to be slaughtered with words right off the bat. I normally go for sevens, but I'm happy to settle for a ten. <laughs> I don't think anyone has used a pickup line on me before. That one's pretty good. <laughs> Only the best for the best. So you look like two different people in your first pick. What the fuck? What a shit first message. Which one of you said that? If you have to move to any country to start a new life, where would you move? You asked me this last time we matched. Do you just copy-paste these? Yes. Not to brag, but people say I'm good at impressing girls with purple hair. Are you able to see my hair? Yes, I am able to see it through your photos. I just meant because you're Asian.
I mean, I can see big things like your hair, but I have a hard time seeing things like your tits. <laughs> Fuck you, Carissa. Did you know that if you lift a kangaroo's tail off the ground, it can't jump? Okay, that didn't work. Did you know muffins spelled backwards is what you would do when you take them out of the oven? S sniff them? Oh, okay. That didn't work either. Are you in it, anal? Imagine this. We go on a date. We're having a good time. But you think I'm acting sort of strange. I come clean and take off my hat to reveal a rat that has been pulling my hair to control my every movement. At first, you're shocked. But you laugh. We start dating and are happy together. One day, you tell me we have to talk. You've fallen in love with the rat, not me. I'm hurt, but I understand. All three of us stay friends. Remy? Nika, 23. We all love food and traveling. You're not special. You imagine if someone was actually like, damn it, I thought... I thought I was. <laughs> I see that you're still up at this hour. What's up? I swiped on accident. I'm sorry. As usual, go ahead. Do the honors. What? I mean, you said you swiped on accident. Yeah, I did. What do you mean do the honors? Unmatch. Unless you want to give me false hope. I didn't even know you could unmatch. I just got Tinder today, lol. But thanks for letting me know. I'll get on that. It's just sadness. <laughs> Upgrade to gold to see people who already liked you. That looks familiar. What? I was trying to get your attention. So you're trying to fuck or what? You got it, but not the good kind. Damn, work on your game. Does anyone actually ever want to fuck you after all that? Lol. Well, listen, hooker. <laughs> Why did he t I tried the nice guy approach, but got left on red. I think there's a reason. Favorite time? About 10 minutes before I matched with you by the looks of things. Fuck that. <laughs> all I want is babies. Nah, I just want a little head. You already have one. Sometimes I do this, but most of the time I do this. Looking for this. As you can see, it did hurt when I fell from heaven. What does a puppy and a nearsighted gynecologist have in common? I have no clue, but thinking through it literally in the anatomical way, I would assume a wet nose. Am I right? Why are you the way that you are? That's gross. <laughs> I'll have a... Mm, I like to travel. How original. And I'll probably like your dog more than you. Daring today, aren't we? Hey, Gabrielle, why are you browsing Bumble at 2.34 a.m.? Why are you on Bumble at 2.35 a.m.? To try and trick my brain into giving me an ounce of serotonin. I couldn't sleep, so I was going through apps, deciding which ones to delete. Clicked on Bumble and happened to see you, whom, by the way, is very cute. Swiped on you, and now here we are. Ah, uh, shit, there's that ounce. Conversations on this sub literally look like two computers talking to each other. Listen, I need to be clear about this. I think it's brave and good and pure of you to be looking for love. And I know it can be really hard and kind of defeating at times. We've all been there. But I hope you don't let some stupid app make you feel any less valuable, lovable, and worthy than you are. We may not match, not everyone's type, but I'm rooting for you and hope you find what you're looking for. You matched with how you. Hi. Hi, how you doing? I should have seen that coming. I also hate small talk. Oh my God, why are you yelling? You said you hate small talk, so I made big talk. That's just yelling. Do you really not know what small talk is? Because it's not the opposite of that. Bruh. Oh, sorry for the unsolicited deck pick. That was for someone else. That is a sexy deck. 10 out of 10 would sit on it. Trimmed the bushes so it looks bigger. <laughs> Good. Man creates his own dating app. Bans all other men from joining. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Dating after 25. Learn how to be a stepdad. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's up? Watching my neighbor's kid. How about you? Haha, <laughs> same. I got new binoculars, so it's much easier from the window. Let me sleep in your stupid t-shirts and hold your dumb hand, you piece of shit. <laughs> Do you have chickens? Because she... <laughs> Because you sure know how to raise a cock. 8.5 out of 10. You came on a bit strong, but I like the originality. Wow, I see that as a 10 out of 10 all day. Sorry, maybe you can find some other way to make up the missing 1.5. It's only one inch, but it smells like a foot. <laughs> My truck is older than you and probably has less wear and tear. My car is younger than you and is probably more literate. <laughs> Your hat is dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Shrek when he turns handsome. You swipe right. We start chatting. There's chemistry. We go out. We dance. We kiss. We're in love. Life is good. A year goes by. I propose. You say yes. We get married. We go on our honeymoon. We're in Hawaii. We go for a hike. It's beautiful. We've reached the top of a mountain. It's actually a volcano. I hug you. I apologize. You're confused. The ancient ones demand a sacrifice. I shout. I throw you in. Thunder and lightning fill the sky. The ancient ones are happy. 
happy. Life is good. Keely, 21. Not into casual hookups, only into ranked competitive hookups. Hey, do you work at Subway? Please don't say because you got a foot long or something. What? No, I'm genuinely asking if you do. Because I thought I might have saw you working at the one near my work. Lol. So do you? Lol, no, I don't. That's strange. You just gave me a foot long. Hey, nice tits. <laughs> hey, average face. I'm pretending to be a hot girl on Tinder so I can match with my roommate and tell him I'm coming over so he'll clean the apartment. Girls on Tinder after you ask to meet up. I don't want to play with you anymore. Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something interesting about yourself. I wear Crocs during sex. <laughs> Lol, are you doing anything tonight? Hopefully wearing Crocs. If you could be any flavor of ice cream, what would you be and why? Rocky Road, because I've been going through it. Lol, what about you? God damn. <laughs> Was I the wrong kind of ice cream? How do you spot a blind man at a nudist beach? I don't know. It's not hard. Then tell me. Girl, I only date six feet guys. Me with two feet. <laughs> <laughs> I love when guys on dating apps ask, how is a gorgeous girl like you single? I'm mentally ill, Brandon. Well, that's scarily relatable. And that's it for this video. I hope you didn't like it. Again, please go to heatdeath.co, sign up for the mailing list, or text this number that's on screen. It goes directly to my phone. How fun is that? New videos next week, I, I hope, as long as we get everything out the door. Again, more information on the next Heat Death Drop coming. Please don't hurt my family, but I'm so excited that you're excited. I respond to every comment, so please Please leave one. Uh, I hope you're awesome. I am covered in paper cuts and I literally have a bruise on my thumb from shipping orders. I don't know how. Um. <laughs> Buffy, do you want to say hi? This little one wanted to say hi. She's all snuggly at my feet. What do you think, mommy? You want to smell the mic? Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Subscribe or don't. Thanks. Love you. All is strange and vague. Are we dead? Or is this Ohio?